how many of you have nice shops like this 900 square foot shops and have a big mess now that's what i'd like to see in the comments all right eric the old jarhead here so i told everyone on my channel some time ago that when i hit 200 subscribers i would get a new camera and i did i got a gopro 9 a gopro hero 9 i guess it's called so it seems like the latest and greatest newest camera they had out and i thought you know what if you're going to do it go all out get a good camera so there you go i did it i kept my word so anyway um i'm here and i just want to talk a little bit about the mill today um and i'm playing with the new camera so bear with me uh here we got the mill and actually the old camera is on there so let's just take a look over here there it is the old vivitar not the greatest camera in the world but it works so you can see now i'm using the new camera so there you go anyway um quick just a quick update i, I brought the mill back from the cabin and so i wanted to kind of show it off a little bit um it's had a little wear and tear needs some maintenance uh <laughs> you can see the the exhaust is uh it's getting a little rusty so that's okay it can be replaced when it gets a hole in it and obviously i've i've just got a little maintenance here to do and and clean it up it does have a band on it still i travel with it with a band on um and uh, honestly that band should have been pulled off um i i lowered the uh, tension on it down to about 500 pounds and then got in a rush and left and the band was still on normally i take it off but then i got back to the mill and went to um you know travel with it load up the mill and, and that's what you do you um leave the band on it so engage the clutch turn everything off disengage the clutch with the motor off that way when you are with the uh, power off and then that way when you get to wherever you're going you can just hit the on switch and it'll disengage the clutch automatically you can get things fired up and running so that's the way they travel i wanted to point out this little um basket right here and another one that i have so you can see this basket just pops on and off um, a customer of mine actually made that for me it holds two uh five gallon gas cans i actually have six gallon cans like this one and it will hold those two though i will tell you the six gallon cans don't fit quite as well so you can see though i can get that one in there and then i can put water or another one a smaller one in or whatever so it's really nice it actually traveled 250 miles like that without even bungee straps hold it down just fine normally though i do bungee strap it uh, tie everything down tight this time i just didn't have it and one of the beauties of owning a, your own sawmill folks is i needed some pine for something and gee whiz guess what i brought some pine back so it's just wonderful to be able to mill your own lumber. I do a lot of milling for other people or have. Um, but uh, the last year and a half or two, I haven't been milling as much. This guy right here, obviously a spare tire, but how does it mount? And I'm going to try to show you this and see if I can set this camera down. Well, I might have to. I'm going to have to use the other camera. So let me take this older little vivitar that doesn't work so great and i'm gonna set that up so that we can see the spare and i'll maybe use that for the spare so let's have a look here um, i'm gonna set this guy down hopefully it'll still record my voice All right, so let me show you how this works. This is just a spare, it's bolted onto the platform. Comes right off. Super easy. So very, very easy to do. Very easy to do, very quick, on and off. But it gives me a place to keep a spare when I'm going down the road. The next thing I was gonna show you is this basket. So you can see I've got this basket here. This basket just allows me to carry a chainsaw, uh, blocks, water, uh, different tools that I need on the milling job. This thing needs to be 
sandblasted and painted. It was done by a customer of mine and uh, it actually got left out at the cabin for a while when I wasn't moving the mill and obviously needs some TLC. So we'll do that. It just pins to the frame underneath. So I can show you that. You can kind of see that there. You got the bolt across there with a little cotter pin or a little pin, a quick pin like you use on a trailer uh, pin, hitch pin. So I did lose the screw in my electrical plug for towing. Gotta fix that. Um, got a little damage right here from towing it with my tractor out in the remote property. Um, really tight turn, caught this and bent it up, but it didn't do any damage other than make it a little bit ugly looking. And this old magnet is falling apart. Number's no longer good anyway, so we're going to have to change that out. So, yeah, there you go. The old Jarhead's mill. Um, i got to check and see how many hours I've got on it. I, I'm going to say it's over 500 hours, uh, under 600. I'm not actually sure. And I don't think I can check this way. Uh, don't break the cheap camera, right? Yeah, see, you can't see it on here. Oh, right there. Yeah, wrong. 499 hours. You can check. So there you have it, the old Jarhead's Mill. 499 hours. Um, about 150,000 board feet milled on it. Towed all over. Uh, very few jobs under 100 miles away. I guess if uh, you have to have a niche, that's my niche. It's that 150 mile remote job. Um, actually, I'm going to show you one other thing here. Okay, one other thing I wanted to show you here is um, my umbrella stand. So I don't have the umbrella right now and I need to modify this, but this is the umbrella stand. It's just some square tubing. Uh, it bolts down here, bolts down here, right onto the support for the control head. So it just bolts on there, it can be unbolted. Runs up here, you got a T that then drops down into your upright on this side. And on the other side you have the support for the umbrella itself. Now this one's gonna get cut off and I'm gonna put a new one on. One of the things you have to consider when you do this, and hopefully that sun doesn't get too bright, is you gotta be able to see your scale. Um, so you don't wanna set this down in front of the scale, but otherwise we're gonna take this one, cut that off, bring it down and put it on a slight angle for the new umbrella because the new umbrella is, uh, it's bigger. The old one had a one inch uh pipe this one's got like an inch and a half so it's a heavier duty so we'll go ahead and and do that and then obviously you can see mill needs a little bit of maintenance clearly um you know that's one of the things about mills you gotta do a lot of maintenance on them. now normally when i'm milling all the time um i i perform maintenance pretty much um before and after every day so in the morning i go through the mill I do uh, a good grease up, I, I clean it up, take care of everything, make sure it's got ATF on the rails, all that good stuff, top everything off and get ready to go. At the end of the day, I blow it off with an air compressor and I grease everything, lube everything and have everything ready to go the next day. So, and it kind of depends. Sometimes you get in a little hurry and if you've done everything the night before, you don't have to do that much in the morning, but sometimes you get in a little hurry at the end of the day and you don't get everything done so you do it in the morning basically i try to do it twice a day before and after every job to keep the mill in top shape now obviously right now it looks pretty bad hey okay, i'll admit it i'm human and uh in this particular case i had left it up at my cabin and i was working up there and unfortunately on the last uh time i was milling i milled about five or six hours it was really late into the day and we had a four and a half hour drive to go no excuses but the reality is sometimes that happens so it didn't get 
didn't get the maintenance it needed now i got to do it again plus this sat for the winter up at the cabin and i do cover the rails and spray them uh with a um a rust inhibitor it's like a, a lube slash rust inhibitor it's better than atv and i'll have to put that in the comments uh, but anyway so i'm going to do some maintenance on the mill um over the next couple days and try to get everything done and i'll try to capture some video for you when i do that and uh you know like always if you enjoyed the video hit like it helps and make sure you hit subscribe i'll get that video out on um doing the maintenance on the mill and i got another one for you uh, my most popular video is actually one of my old videos on this mill when i very first got the mill and i was just learning how to use it i did a, a, a video called milling a large ponderosa pine and i put some music on it that was uh, that i couldn't use and I had to end up removing using youtube's tools and i put some muzak on there just to kind of put something on it and that's probably the biggest comment is cut the music out so what i'm going to do because that video for whatever reason it it just gets all the attention and it's not a very well done video it's really early on when i when i was still just kind of using an old kodak camera i had that didn't do a great job um and i basically just posted a video that was like nine minutes long no editing no sound no explanation other than some typed comments and so what i've decided to do that that video has over forty thousand views it's it's got more views than any other video i have and i thought well i don't know why um comment if you know but um what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the original raw footage i had for that and i'm going to edit it down a little bit clean it up and then i'm going to leave the sawmill sounds there i might do a little bit of voiceover on a couple spots here to kind of explain what i'm doing and i'm going to post that one again because i know i can do a lot better job today than i did five or six years ago when I originally posted that video, which I think I did for my grandsons or something, you know, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to post it and give you guys something better to watch. And then let me know what you think. Post in the comments. Tell me what you think. Let me know about these mods. If you want to see uh, the mods a little closer, a little better and, and you know how they work. I've been using them for gosh, about three, four years now and they work awesome. It's great. Now, the reason I use those, you might be asking is because I don't just tow the mill with the pickup. I tow the mill with a pickup and a camper on the back. So when you got a camper on the back, you don't want to put gas and all kinds of greasy stuff and everything else inside the camper. So where are you going to put it? You got to put it on the mill. So what I've done is I've got these little mods on the mill to help me transport the things I need, cant hooks and fuel and chainsaws and whatever else for jobs. We take all that on the mill and, and roll down the road and it works great. So let me know what you think. Again, hit subscribe, hit like. Um, thanks a million for those of you that are subscribers or those that are watching the channel. Again, I said if I had 200, I'd order a new camera. I got 200, I ordered a new camera. Awesome, thanks guys. Uh, there's 232 of you now, so I don't know. I might have to come up with something for when I get 500 subscribers. Uh, maybe another camera or maybe Maybe a drone. I think a drone. I might do that. I'll start using a drone. So anyway, thanks again. Thanks a million. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Somebody needs to clean up his shop. I've been doing too many Jeep things and uh, not cleaning up the, the new shop. And so I got to do that. I got to clean up the shop. How many of you have nice shops like this, 900 square foot shops and have a big mess? Now that's one I'd like to see in the comments. How many of you have got a nice shop like this one and you do something and you're in a hurry and you don't clean it up and then you come and you do something else and you push things out of the way and you make a big mess and then you got to come back i always say like a dumb jar head clean it all up and start over so a lot of people say oh you know marines you're gonna be disciplined and all these great things and that's true we really can be but in this case for whatever reason i go crazy in the shop i do stuff i leave a mess so in the comments let me know who's as bad as i am have a great day and thanks again